In this video, I'm going to show you how powerful Rank Math Pro schema module is compared to all other schema generators and setups available, as well as how it actually works. So first things first, just ensure that you've installed both Rank Math Pro as well as the free version of Rank Math. Then head over to Rank Math, click on Dashboard, scroll all the way down to the schema module, and ensure that the module is both enabled and that the Pro label appears here. Once you've done that, whenever you click on add new, whether to create a post or a page, you'll notice the rank math score will show up here. Simply click there to pull up all of rank math's available options for this page. Then click on the schema tab in this area. With rank math pro, you can now add multiple schema types. So let's say this is a post all about say baking a cake and let's go ahead and save this as a draft. Then navigate to the schema generator. Here, you'll now be able to choose from any of the predefined schema templates by browsing or searching. And to enable one, simply click on Use and proceed to fill in all of the details that are shown with instructions and the appropriate format conveniently displayed underneath. Once you've entered all of these details, click Save for this post. Now, as you can see, you can add as many schema types as you'd like in this section here. You can also easily preview and validate your schema markup implementation by clicking Test with Google. We highly advise getting into the habit of testing right after making changes. And if you open up the schema generator again, you can also choose which schema type of all those you've added for this post should be treated as the post's primary schema. What this means is that whenever Google shows a rich result on search engine results pages, it should pick up the primary schema. So in this case, we would much rather have the recipe schema as the primary schema so that whenever someone searches for this particular recipe, a nice rich result shows up. This now also means that this is both a recipe as well as an article. But as you can see, if you refer to Google's documentation, they have a very limited set of schema available, some of which are also in beta or just not yet available to everyone on the market. So in situations like this, you can use the custom schema module. Using the custom schema module, you can create any type of schema you want. Alternatively, you can also choose, let's say the article schema and then proceed to use the advanced editor to make further changes. However, please be advised that if you are switching a predefined schema type to an advanced schema type, this is something which cannot be reversed for the current post. So as you can see, you now have a whole range of options here and you can refer to our knowledge base article available at rankmath.com slash KB slash rich snippets to understand exactly how this works. In addition to this, if you wish to take inspiration from your competitors that use complex schema that is not available anywhere else, for instance, Let's refer to this article on the BBC's website. If you click view page source, copy the page's entire HTML, close the tab and head back to your WordPress post. Then from the drop down menu here, choose HTML code and paste in the HTML code you just copied and then click on process HTML. As you can see, the reportage news article schema is not referred to here but big sites like the BBC are using it, which gives them a competitive edge as they're using more advanced schema implementations that without the help of Rank Math are not easy to work with. Fortunately, if you're a Rank Math Pro user, you can take advantage of this functionality today simply by importing all of the complex schema types you'd like to use so that the only thing you still really need to do is replace all of the values. Let's say for example here, we'd write by Alex and replacing this field with your own URL as well as updating the value here to the name of your own website. And once again, when complete, you can go ahead and click save for this post. Here, you can see all of the schema types we've added to this post so far. If you click edit on any of them and then scroll down, you'll also notice it now shows the additional save as a template option. Now, if you navigate back to the WordPress dashboard over to rank math and then schema templates, you'll notice that the new template we've just saved is now shown here. You can also click on add new here to create new templates without heading into the post or page edit area. Now, if we modify a particular template, let's say for this URL field, we'd like to enter a dynamic value, simply refer back to our documentation available on our knowledge base. And if you scroll down, you'll conveniently see all of the variables that are available in the rank math plugin here. So let's say I'll copy the URL variable and then paste that. The result of this is that now going forward, when I reuse this template, I no longer need to repopulate this field with the current page URL as that would be done automatically. But of course, that's not it. It doesn't stop there. 
you can also take advantage of display conditions. This is extremely powerful, especially when you have a huge website and want to implement schema markup across your entire website in just a few clicks. Let's say I want to use a custom schema template I've created on all posts, but I also want to exclude this template from a particular post. As you start typing here, you can choose which posts you'd like to exclude it from. This custom schema template will now be automatically applied to all current and future posts matching your newly created display condition. For a detailed walkthrough of Rank Math Schema module, head over to our knowledge base. And if you have absolutely any questions for us, please feel free to reach out to our support team. We're always here to help.